Hi everyone, this is Ike from IQ Renders here. In this very next for SketchUp tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to apply the bump and displacement map. Alright, I have this rectangular volume here which is going to serve as our test dummy for this tutorial today. And uh, I have this brick material applied to it. It's a PBR material, so I have all maps needed for it. So I have the diffuse which I've already applied, I have the displacement map. In this case, I'm giving a normal map, not a bump map for this um for this material but they work the same way either way and we have a reflection map right here now i took care of this i explained further reflection maps in my previous video you can you watch that by clicking on the right side of the screen on the card that appears okay so and also if you want to know how i apply this material also watch the video on that best ways to apply material it's also on the card above okay so let me go back to my scene now first of all i'm going to start with the bump map now what is a bump map a bump map is basically a height map or as i like to call it an imperfection map now sketchup when you render you tend to have materials looking really flat as in as flat as the surface you apply it on but what this bump map does it adds a bit of height to it depending on the map you are using now, today we're going to be using a normal map and a normal map is basically an RGB map and it already shows you how the material is going to look when the map is applied. Now you see all these bumps and blemishes which originally on the SketchUp model they were not there. Due to this map they are going to appear on the material. Okay, so this is how you apply it. So this is the map and this is the preview, see it looking as flat as ever now if you want to know how i got to this from the original circular preview just click on these three dots over here and then it's generic that's the default then you just click wall close up because we're working on a wall mock-up so this should be the best preview for that so moving over i come to the bump slash normal mapping and i enable this okay and then we have mode slash map now you see a bump map, a height map should be used and the normal map, RGB normal map should be used. That was the image I pulled up earlier. So since we're going to be using a normal map, I'm going to switch this to normal map. And we're going to pull up our texture here. I'm going to pull up our texture here and we're going to apply it to this rollout here. Okay. Now, as you can see, our texture got darker, our material got darker and V-Ray has a solution for that. If you read in the normal map, note that in most cases, the normal bitmap color space should be set to linear to ensure correct results. Okay. Now, I don't know if it has to do with the particular RGB scaling, but the material took on a dark tone. I think it's due to the way this color reacts with it so v -Ray said we should put this to linear and that's what we're actually supposed to do so when you put this on it kind of lightens the rgb reduces the um, harsh effect of it upon the material and you are now left with this uh, material has regained back its original color and the map normal map is being shown but it's not that visible here in the preview so we are going to increase this to a value of 2. Okay, still not that visible. So we'll have to render this to find out. Okay, we have our scene here. And then we just click render. Okay, that's done. Um, this how the material looks after the normal map has been applied. Let me pull up let me pull up a render I did without the material, without the normal map applied to it. Let's set up a comparison. Okay. I'll drag this slider. On the left is how the material was before the normal map was applied. And on the right, it's the map, the material after the normal map was applied to it. So as you can see, 
there are some particular imperfections and blemishes that have taken place especially around the where the mortar was applied you're able to see the texture is a bit more visible there and on the bricks themselves is a bit more hmm, to it uh the shadows are more because as i said it's a hype map but it's not as um visible as the displacement map which we are going to go on to but this is what you get after you apply the normal map to the material so i'm going to set this here and we're going to go and apply uh displacement map okay okay let's clear this let's disable this all right move this move this okay so now coming over to our material rollout we now have the displacement map now what is the displacement map the displacement map just like the bump map also it's a hype map but it is more effectful as you can see here now it's ba it basically looks like a desaturated vo um, version of the um, diffuse map which many people might actually agree on but it actually works with V-Ray in a way that the white parts of this image they tend to go up and the dark parts stay down so just like normal bricks you know the height the ones that are above the other so these white parts of the brick now are going to go up more stick out and then these lower parts are going to remain down okay so we'll enable this and now we have two modes here we have the normal and the 2d the normal takes the original surface geometry and subdivide to triangles. Now that's not understandable, but basically the normal displacement is meant for materials that have irregular, uh, irregular subdivisions or irregular variations to them, like stone, water, and other all those type of irregular materials. But 2D displacement is for materials that have more fine-tuned and two-dimensional in terms of direction, um, two-dimensional modes like your brick and your tile due to the height variation and everything so we're going to set this to 2d displacement for our brick material and then we come on over here and just like how we applied our normal map we're going to apply the displacement map over here okay so now we have we had a bit of change that was really visible that was really visible Okay, now in the preview already we have a bit of an issue on the edge here we have this split motion this splitting this tearing apart over here now this is actually a very very um, serious issue with rendering with displacement this is the fact that when you have two edges coming together um, and we and they are both displaced they kind of merge and then have this overlap of displaced particles now Viri has a setting here keep continuity now when you enable Viri will try to produce a connected surface usually when you get splits usually around sharp edges in the displaced geometry so I'm going to enable that right back okay we still have a bit of a split here in the preview but let's render this to know how this is going to look so amount let's do uh let's do a two let's do a two so that we'll have a more visible effect on the material okay so and then we just hit our render okay as you can see nothing is happening even if it's just building the light catch Nothing is really happening to the material because this is where I'm going to pull up the most important tip of the day. Now, V-Ray and SketchUp. There is an, I won't call it an issue, but more of an observation. And I feel it's been, it's been, it's been there for a really long time. For the reason why they haven't made amends, it should be that maybe it's actually pretty helpful to us visualizers because you 
are not able to use displacement maps on bare surfaces in SketchUp. You must apply the material to a group for it to work. Now, from that render you just saw, then the changes I made, they are, not, they are not going to be visible on this. So I have to make this a group now. So I simply select everything, right click, and I make this a group. And not only will that change my fortune, but I have to reapply the material to this group. And I simply click. Now, no change took effect because all my settings, they are already all right so i'll simply hit the render button again and then we'll see if our changes are taking effect Perfect. all right the render is just starting and already we're able to see the displacement parameters taking effect and it's really actually really cool in comparison well we're going to speed this up we're going to speed this up real quick okay so our render is done and uh, as you can see we already have our desired effect and it's really it's really really cool this is more brick like this is what we know as bricks so let's just compare it to the normal map that we had earlier set this as our B and then okay so this is what it looked like being just the normal map. This is what it looked like. And then when we apply the displacement, it gave it an extra height to it. Let's go up to this corner here. And I think you'll see better. Look at that edge. Yeah. Now my parameters may be a bit too high because you know if you notice here, we're getting some wavy, bendy corners here maybe sticking to one default as one can might just actually be the best solution but for the purposes of this tutorial we are going to the extreme all right so i think that will be all for this thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found this video really helpful uh, i hope to hit my 100 subscriber mark with this video so you can do help me by sharing this video and sharing this channel to help others also on their journey on learning very next for SketchUp and also if you want to stay updated to more videos and more content do subscribe to my channel and if you want to get pre up to date on any content coming up do follow me on my social media on my Instagram and Facebook pages below thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one